guys, this is Lila from Crafty Twins, and today we're going to be making, um, or I'm going to be showing you how to make this can cozy out of duct tape, and it's really easy, and if you have like a really cold drink and you don't want your hands to get freezing and wet, you can just make one of these so you can hold it, and it's really, really simple. So all you need is an exacto knife, and if you're young children, you should have supervision or, or at least have permission from your parents before using it. Um, you're also going to need four, a four inch long piece of black side and the front side of velcro. Two different kinds of duct tape, two or one. You can also use one if you don't have two different kinds. And hot glue. And you might need a ruler along the way. So the first step is to take Take the duct tape that you want to be the middle, well most of it, and you put it nine inches long, a nine inch long piece down. If I can get the end. Now I finally found the end and I lay down a piece of duct tape nine inches long. And now I'm going to, and when you lay down your next piece, because you're going to need three pieces. You can you have to overlap it a little bit so they stick together. And you also need a can to measure how tall it is. If you have one of those really tall cans, you can make the same thing only taller. So I have two pieces here and I'm out, I know I'm at least going to need one more. So I'll take another piece and lay it down. Now I think that's as long as I need it to be because you can see how there's like an indent right here. I'm okay with just leaving that be. Some people, you can make it a little bit taller so it goes all the way up to the top if you want. But I'm going to make mine go all the way to like right here where it says it's good. Only it's going to be covering that over. Yep. Now you take a corner and, and peel the whole thing up and flip it over on the back and just put more duct tape on uh, face down like this so it covers the whole sticky part. A lot of people might be saying like why not just use paper but usually sometimes if it's been like if it's really cold it gets misty so it gets wetter on the edges and then if you get water wet it will rip and stuff so I'm just using more duct tape and just cover it up and it's okay if you if you get some like over the edges because you can just cut that off after. Now that I've done the front and back side, you flip it over and you can see where you overlapped a little bit. And you just take the exacto knife and cut that off. But try not to cut on to like the color or else it'll make it way smaller than the can and you'll end up with like a really uh, tight and small cozy. Now I've cut off the edges. And now I'm ready to hot glue on my Velcro. I don't know if I mentioned hot glue. I think I did. Oh well, well you're going to need hot glue to glue these on. You're going to have to do one on the front and like one on the other side. So on this one, I'm going to put it right on the edge. So I'm just going to put my glue on like in a swirly motion. along the edge there and stick that on there and be careful because the hot glue like goes through the the um goes through the velcro so it might you might get burnt so if you have those little rubber finger things I'd wear those so you don't burn your fingers or have a parent do it for you now that that's dried, it only takes like five seconds, really. So um, now I'm going to like measure it around the oops, measure it around the can, and see if it's like the right size, about approximately the right size. So I see like right here how there's a little bit of extra Velcro there. Um, I noticed that I could put 
a little bit more duct tape actually on this side so I'm just gonna take another piece like a shorter piece actually and just um peel it and then put half of it on this side and I just have to be perfectly straight just pretty straight half of it on, half of it on the side and take my exacto knife exacto knife and just cut there she looks a, bit, a little bit longer and just put it like stick it on like that so I think that made it a little bit longer and now let's check to see if it's the right size so I'm just gonna put this around and see if this should be in the bottom and that will just be like perfect see how the end of this like lines up perfectly with velcro so now I'm just gonna put the other piece of velcro this thing's so loud but the other piece of velcro right here on the side and make sure it's on the opposite side on the opposite on the opposite side and on this side the opposite side so I'm just gonna glue that on there boom magic it's there glued on and dry and now I've done that part and I'm gonna see if this fits around here so let's just talk with that and yes I think that that fits good nice and well on there and um now you don't have to do this but I'm gonna put like a like another piece of duct tape up here well like half a piece of duct tape up here so I have another color like I did here like this whole thing was this and I put like another strip up here so it would have a little bit more color now I have two nine strip pieces of my other color and that's as long around as my other one was so now I'm just gonna take this off the can and throw the can and Peel up one piece of my duct tape, my other color, and just stick about half of it as straight as you can on here. And you can see here where it would go over the Velcro. This is where I forgot to say you might need scissors and just cut away so it doesn't overlap the Velcro. And so. You did the same thing on this side because there's Velcro here and if you folded it down it would just uh, go on the Velcro. So like you did with the other side, cut it, that piece off, if it will cut, <laughs> and then you just turn it around and stick it on like that and you do the same thing with the other side. So now I have my other color duct tape on both the sides and you can see so I cut off the part where the velcro was but on the back side it's still like that and I have these scrap pieces so I can just take my scrap pieces and put them wherever there's black on the top and bottom which I want there. Boom. Pow. Shakalaka. Now my can cozy is done. So, if I can find my can, yes, when I threw it, it went all the way over there. So, I'm just going to put this on my can. And stick it down there. And there you are. That's how simple it is to make a duct tape can cozy and drink a refreshing, cool uh, soda or seltzer or whatever you have in a can like this. And... I hope you enjoyed this video if you tried it because I really like these. I made one for my brother. That's the first time when I made them. And I really like this video so I hope you tried it and you like it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give a comment down below and give it a thumbs up. And finally, please subscribe. We really like subscribers. Me and my sister both. So I hope you try this. Thanks. Bye.